The Earth is mainly a water world. More than 70% of our planet's surface is covered by oceans, and yet we know so little about what really resides deep beneath those waves. The ocean in some ways is like an alien world within our own. Many of its creatures are still unknown to us. In fact, we probably know more about the surface of Mars than we know about the ocean floor. And that's kind of a scary thought to wrap our heads around. But what about the crazy creatures we do know about already? 15 most terrifying monsters found in the deep sea. Zombie Starfish Let's start off with the zombie starfish, or what's better known as the sunflower sea star. This starfish has a total of 24 arms. Yeah, 24. The fish comes in a range of colors, including purple, brown, orange, and yellow. Apparently, as a child, this starfish only has five arms, but over time, grows another 19. The Monterey Bay Aquarium describes this creature as a voracious predator, and when on the prowl for food, the sunflower star swings along on its 15,000 tube feet, moving at the remarkable speed of just over 40 inches per minute. They can even see with their own legs. Each limb has an eye spot that's sensitive to light. Their tube feet have a powerful grip, and their prey, usually snails, often struggle to break free. They can also spit out their own stomach, wrap it around their prey, dissolve it, and then digest it. These creatures can swallow an entire sea urchin in one go. But even more terrifying is the damage it does itself. Some of these starfish have been known to literally pull off their own arms, and these arms eventually take on a life of their own. You can creepily see the leg crawling away from the body. Don't forget, each leg has its own eye, so you can see where you're going. The limbs become zombie-like and drift through the sea. Fasten your seatbelts, because it's time for today's sweet topic. What in the animal mutation is going on here? Let's unpack this image together. We're seeing a fish head with sharp, jagged teeth. Then there's the disturbingly bulbous human-like body complete with arms and a flabby gut. The lower half of this mystery deep-sea creature appears to have scales like a fish. Are you as confused as we are? This can't possibly be some sort of mer-creature, like a mermaid, for example. Some folks who have come across this curious creature's image have suggested it could be a ningyo. We'll explain. Ningyo, which is Japanese for human fish, is a creature with both human and fish-like features. Unlike the mythical mermaids of the Atlantic Ocean and the Mediterranean Sea, ningyo from the Pacific Ocean and the Sea of Japan are hideous to behold. Instead of seductive sirens, they're otherworldly nightmares. They're more fish than human, and they can have anything from ugly, deformed fish-like faces to entire human torsos with long, bony fingers and sharp claws. And they can range in size from a human child to a large seal. Ningyo sightings go back to the earliest written histories of Japan. The first recorded mermaid sightings in Japan are found in one of the oldest books of classical Japanese history dating back to the 6th century. Could they exist today in the deep sea somewhere? It looks like it. Comment below with the hashtag sweet topic. Armored Sea Robin Our next creature is the Armored Sea Robin, which is one of the few creatures on Earth to have its own natural armor. The armor is the natural four rows of bony plates along its body. This fish simply walks along the seafloor by using its fin rays. It has a dark red body, like the red robin and translucent fins. They also have barbels coming out of their mouths, which help them to sense food. Perhaps most striking of all is the fact that it has an incredibly huge head, but a small body. The fish usually travels in the deepest parts of the ocean, so it's rarely coming up for contact with humans. They normally are found in tropical waters, particularly off the coast of Costa Rica. Because these creatures are so elusive, that's just about as much as we know. We don't even roughly know the numbers of how many of these are around. That being said, it does occasionally get caught in the nets of a deep sea fishing trawler. But the fish don't make good food either, as their bony bodies mean there's a not a lot of meat on these little fellas. What would be your response if you found one of these goofy looking guys on your plate? Sinister Siphonophore Our next creature looks like a spaghetti monster. As you may be aware, there's a Church of the Flying Spaghetti Monster, which was created to poke fun at religion. They jokingly said that they worshipped a flying spaghetti monster, but this idea isn't as bizarre as it seems. 
This fish certainly looks like a spaghetti monster, albeit not flying. These creatures are difficult to find. Recent footage was taken off the coast of Angola by offshore oil workers. This footage was taken 4,000 feet under the sea. The strangest thing about these creatures is that it's not even one single fish. Instead of one big spaghetti monster, what you're actually looking at is an entire colony of corals and jellyfish working together as a tandem unit. So similarly to a colony of ants, these creatures are all working together and behave as if they're a singular organism. Nothing emphasizes the phrase stronger teeth than the siphonophore. These fish alone would be hunted within an instant if they were caught swimming on their own, but when they present themselves as these huge spaghetti monsters, other fish might think twice before going near them. So, which is scarier? The idea that this was one big monster? Or the fact that it's thousands of different creatures all working together? We're not entirely sure. <laughs> Deep Steria and it wouldn't be a proper list of underwater monsters without at least one jellyfish. Our next creature is the deep steria, which is an incredibly surreal looking jellyfish. In fact, it's so surreal looking that it's difficult to describe. The website Nerdist thinks it kind of looks like a ghost of a plastic bag lined with a network of vessels. Other online commenters have compared them to the ghosts you see in Pac-Man. But that doesn't even fully describe this fish as it's also a shape shift and can transform from its ghost plastic bag form to something which looks more like a lava lamp. It was once mistaken by the internet as well placenta. Researchers who caught footage of it noticed how it simply flattens and expands. Marine biologists studying them in Southwest Baker Island said, I think it's any size it wants to be. One of the strangest things about these creatures is their lack of stinging tentacles. Instead of stinging its prey, it simply traps them inside its balloon-shaped body. Another strange thing about these creatures is that isopods sometimes live inside these bags and are therefore protected from other predators. This fish has only been discovered in the 1960s, and since then it's only been spotted a couple of times. They're usually found in the Pacific Antarctic and Mexican Gulf. Thankfully, they stay 3,000 feet below the ocean. It's difficult to find out any information on how powerful its sting is to humans. Not many people seem to want to find out. <sighs> Helmet Jellyfish And if that jellyfish didn't creep you out enough, how about another one? This is the helmet jellyfish, which basically looks like a see-through helmet. While the deep steria usually has no stinging cells, this one is unusual for its surprisingly large stinging cells. This is why they're quite an invasive species, and seeing one of these nearby is not good news for fishermen. The deep steria likes to eat the same fish which humans eat like cod, haddock, and hake. As you can imagine, humans don't really enjoy eating this particular fish. The lifespan of these fish is also quite peculiar. While most jellyfish only live for months, one of these can go on for 30 years. Their body size is 12 inches, about the size of a ruler, and are 90% water. Professor Mork at the Norwegian University of Science and Technology has been studying the effects of the booming number of jellyfish. They're very efficient predators, he says. The population can grow to huge sizes in relatively few years, and they eat the same food as the young stages of the commercial fishes. And in addition, they eat small and young stages of those competitors. These fish are found in almost every ocean and sea in the world, particularly in the Norwegian. Thankfully, it's not likely that you'll ever bump into one of these, as they'll be 2,700 meters underwater and don't like the light. <laughs> Monkfish. While humans don't eat jellyfish, they certainly do eat monkfish. It's even quite a delicacy. It's often referred to as the poor man's lobster because of its similar taste but much cheaper price. It costs roughly $2 a pound. While it could cost $30 a pound for lobster, the Japanese also love ankimo, which is a sushi dish of the monkfish's liver. Their very broad but skinny heads are quite a sight to be seen. It usually swims along the bottom of the sea and can usually blend in with its surroundings and pounce upon its prey in disguise. Its face is often compared to a frog's, as in other cultures this fish is known as fishing frogs, frogfish, goosefish, and even sea devils. The monkfish is typically found in the North Atlantic Ocean and the Pacific Ocean, especially in the Gulf of St. Lawrence at the east coast of Canada and in North Carolina. But don't worry about bumping into them. They travel at 200 meters underwater and sometimes down as far as a kilometer below the sea's waves. 
hagfish. We're now moving on to something pretty darn terrifying. To put it gently, the hagfish is not very easy on the eye and looks more like a snake. There are a number of bizarre facts about these fish. For a start, they've not one but two hearts. Also, it's so stringy that it can even tie itself in knots. These fish are not really known as predators and predominantly feast on the leftover carcasses of other fish. They don't exactly possess good table manners either. As Smithsonian Magazine put it, once they find their meal, they bury it into it face first to bore a tunnel deep into its flesh. This is because they're jawless fish and eat by piercing their teeth through the food. Their eating habits are incredibly strange. They can sometimes go up to months without food and they absorb nutrients through their skin. But the most fascinating aspect about this fish is its slime. Scientists believe that the slime from these fish is so stretchy that it could be used for tights and athletic wear. The fish use this slime to ward off predators and to stop other fish from potentially eating their food. If you attack this fish, it will produce this slippery slime and be able to break free of any predator's grip. And just when you thought that slime wasn't disgusting enough, here's some more fun facts. To prevent a breakup of this slime, this fish sneezes just like we do. It also sometimes deliberately ties itself in a knot to stop the slime from dripping onto its face. And just when you thought you'd like to forget that this creature ever existed, there's a hagfish day. This is on the third Wednesday of October every year. So make sure to mark that date down in your calendars. Ghost Shark If you're afraid of ghosts and you're afraid of sharks, then you might not like the ghost shark. Well, technically, they're not sharks. They're a species of fish closely related to sharks and not very friendly creatures. The ghost part of the name is down to their scaly and ethereal quality, which gives it a ghost-like appearance. They live 400 to 2,000 feet deep into the sea. They're also called Chimera, which is a fictional monster in Greek mythology with a goat's head, lion's body, and serpent's tail. Unlike sharks, they have tooth plates instead of real teeth. They have sharp upper jaw teeth plates and a flat lower jaw teeth plate. Their teeth don't fall out like a shark's, but actually continue to grow. Perhaps most bizarrely of all, they have retractable reproductive organs on their heads. And like the hagfish, this fish also has its own day. October 30th is International Ghost Shark Day, which is fittingly very close to Halloween. <laughs> Megamouth Shark Next up, we have the Megamouth Shark, and this time we have ourselves an actual shark. Imagine a shark whose head is bigger than its abdomen. The Megamouth Shark first was discovered in 1976 off the coast of the Hawaiian island of Oahu. The fish became entangled in a parachute sea anchor of the U.S. Navy vessel. It took another eight years before the second one was found. There have only been 64 confirmed sightings of this beast and eight unconfirmed sightings. The director at the Center for Sustainable Tropical Fisheries and Aquaculture told Australian Geographic they're believed to follow the deep scattering layer in the open ocean that's made up of plankton and associated organisms that migrate toward the surface at night and descend during the day. We know that they feed on krill, crustaceans, and jellyfish. However, it's important not to judge these sharks based on their looks. These sharks are surprisingly friendly and pose no real threat to humans. Well, friendly by shark standards at least. Don't expect to cuddle from these guys. Barrel Eye Fish The Barrel Eye Fish gets its name from, you guessed it, its weird barrel-shaped eyes. The fish also has a transparent head that fills with fluid. These are ambush predators. They'll stay perfectly still and then quickly pounce upon their prey. These fish prey on jellies other siphonophores, crustaceans, and zooplankton. You'll find these sea creatures 2,000 to 2,600 feet in the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans. Its big tubular eyes help it see underwater. Also, its transparent head means that the fish can even look upwards too. The two holes on its head are not actually eyes, but act more like a nose. This fish is one of the newest discoveries to scientists and wasn't a confirmed species until 2004. Pacific Football Fish The Pacific Football Fish is one of the few species on this earth which we've never seen alive. Just 31 of these things have been found in the past 100 years. They look absolutely terrifying and not a lot of thought was put into their name. They're usually found in the Pacific and they're in the shape of a football. They also have bulbs on their heads which is helpful as they travel deep into the dark parts of the ocean, sometimes as low as 3,000 feet. 
The way these animals work is quite extraordinary. The women do all the hunting, and the males are sexual parasites as they fuse themselves to the females. But there's still so much about these guys that we don't know. William Lutt at the Natural History Museum told AllThat'sInteresting.com, we don't know a lot about even the basics of how they live. There's still just all these questions, and I think that's what makes it really fascinating, especially to study these deeper water species that occur just out in the open ocean. There's these basic things we don't know about them. We don't really know what they eat. We don't know much about their reproduction systems. <coughs> Japanese spider crabs. Okay, so if you have a fear of spiders and crabs, maybe look away. The Japanese spider crab, as you can see, is a crab with spider-like shape. As the name suggests, these are mainly found along the Japanese coast, but it doesn't have eight legs. This crab has eight legs for walking and two at the front to hunt. One of the strangest facts about these creatures is that once they're an adult, their body stops growing, but their legs continue to grow. Its main body is about 12 inches, which is the size of a ruler. Its legs, however, can span up to 12 times that 12 feet from claw to claw. The biggest ever Japanese spider crab was found in 2009. It was a male with a 12 foot long span and weighed four pounds. They decided to call this truly terrifying creature Crabzilla, and it's now housed in a sea life center in the Netherlands. Sloan's Viperfish Our next fish is one of the fiercest predators in the sea. Their large, fang-like teeth are so big they're not even able to fit inside their mouths. In fact, when it has its teeth closed, the mouth becomes a sort of cage for the prey trapped inside. It also has a light organ, which instead of seeing through the dark, it uses to lure prey. Don't be fooled by its small size. When it spots its prey, it unhinges its skull and can open its jaw up to 90 degrees. Then it expands its stomach to the extent that it can swallow prey 60% the size of itself. Again, this fish goes down deep in the ocean. There's only so much we know about them. Sarcastic French Head it's not often that you would call a fish sarcastic fringe head. It got given the label sarcastic because of its incredibly aggressive nature. It actually uses its mouth to scare predators and open and closes its mouth to wane off potential threats. They'll usually fight any threats regardless of how big they are. The fish features in David Attenborough's Animal Planet. He explains that these fish are exceptionally quarrelsome, but they have to be to defend their living space. They're not only aggressive when hunting, but they're incredibly territorial. When two males are fighting over territory, they wrestle and lock mouths against each other and ironically look like they're kissing. Females are quite selective, so the males are incredibly competitive against one another. The winning male stays put while the loser has to find somewhere else to live. They're only 12 inches high, so again, these are about the same height as a ruler. Anglerfish. So if none of the creatures so far have given you nightmares yet, our last throw of the dice is the anglerfish. It's quite possibly the ugliest animal on the entire planet. Their enormous mouths, bulging eyes, and crescent-shaped teeth are not the easiest on the eye, to put it lightly. This fish lives completely in the dark and lives 1,500 meters below the sea. It cannot see anything underwater, so it uses its fin rays to sense movement. But the fish doesn't need great eyesight, as it simply lures its prey to itself. The snout looks like a worm, so monkfish and frogfish swim over to it. And then the angler simply pounces and devours its prey. The male anglerfish is parasitic to the females, or as Mental Floss describes it, he's kind of a deadbeat boyfriend. While mating, the male attaches itself to the female and bites her and draws up nutrients from the food. He basically spends his entire life latching onto his girlfriend and fertilizing her eggs. And like most of the fish on this list, there's only so much we know about them. There are only 14 in total of dead anglers fish in natural history museums across the world. One professor of biology in New York told Live Science, sometimes they're caught and they have whole fish in their stomachs. If you touch the stomachs, it's quite squishy, for a lack of a better term. And now we've reached the end of today's video. Do you reckon that you'd like to go scuba diving anytime soon? Or has this video put you off? We've got plenty more videos about this weird and wonderful world coming your way.